test, 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 because I want audio. Assalamu alaikum, guys. I'm doing this for the second time. Let's see if this works. It's basically a story about how I came to be me, as in being a future convert in nine days. So, um, okay. Basically, I, my parents have been divorced for almost my whole life. They separated when I was young, probably seven, six or seven years old, and then they divorced in 2001 before 9-11. Um, 9-11 happened. We thought my dad was in it because we didn't know where he was that week. Uh, luckily, he was actually in, um, in Phoenix at the time, but he had to drive all the way back after the airports closed. So that happened. Yay, Islamophobia is created, basically. Um, so we, um, my mom got married in 2003 and she had converted, she converted after or before marrying my stepdad, my first stepdad. He was Moroccan and, um, she got married in Morocco and, um, and when she came back after, um, that I of course wanted to learn about Islam, my sister sort of did. Um, my mom wanted us to learn because it was part of her. So we started going to classes, I think, shortly thereafter um, at the masjid in Milwaukee. And Milwaukee has actually a pretty big Muslim community, which is really nice, even though I don't live there anymore. I live in Boston, which has an even bigger Muslim community, but my hometown right now that I'm in has like zero Muslims. So except for me, the future convert. Um, so we went to classes at the masjid and I was at the age where I had to wear hijab because I was 11, 12. And um, it was weird to me, because not because of wearing it, but because of the fact that I felt like I was not myself and I didn't want people to think I was Muslim when I wasn't. Well, we went to classes, um, I would make sure that the kids usually, I end up telling the kids that I wasn't Muslim, and then they'd be like, well, why are you here? And I'd be like, my mom is Muslim, so, ugh. Yeah, but, um, so then I ended up taking classes actually with my mom, just because I felt awkward in the classes with other kids, because they were all Muslim, and I was just like a non-Muslim in hijab. Anyways, we went to my mom's classes, and that was fun, because, you know, me and my sister were the only kids, and... We got to take these classes and felt all grown up and that's where we started learning Arabic too. That's kind of where I fell in love with it because I thought the language was beautiful. Yeah, and that's before I really knew about Hein. So <laughs> we took those classes and we stopped taking them after a while just because of the fact that it was, um, I don't want to say inconvenient, but the fact that my dad had put us in CCD because it was a, like a retort to, oh, we don't want you to be a Muslim, so let's put you in Catholic classes even though I don't believe in Catholicism really, but my parents do. We looked forward to the meals after CCD um, more than the actual classes, which was kind of sucky. We got um, First Communion, which is woo fun, but um, not really because we were actually way too old for it, sort of. But um, so we qu we quit going to is Islamic classes on Sunday. And fast forward to post high school into college, um, a few months ago actually, um, I ended up being in this state after breaking up with my ex of three years, breaking up or not breaking up, but having the Turk go back to Turkey and not exactly knowing where I was with that, and um, like just kind of being a little bit lost and having been with a guy at college too and then having him not be with me. I'm kind of a repulsive person apparently, but um, I just figured out that like it wasn't, I was lost. I feel like there's a part of me that's missing to try to tone down the cheesiness. Um, I started talking to somebody on Tumblr who had been following me and I had followed them and like we were talking about why hadn't why hadn't I converted to Islam? What was in my way? Oh my dad, oh where I go to school, oh I'm not don't, not sure I'm ready, oh I kind of want to wait for this and that and the other thing, blah 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 blah. And it was just like 
these are really stupid reasons. And of course they didn't say that, but I, I came to the conclusion, I'm like, why am I waiting? Like, why haven't I just confirmed it already? And the big reason was my dad. But then I was like, well, he'll have to accept it now or in four years. And if he creates any problems for me, I'm going to have to figure them out now or in four years. So I was just like, well, screw it. I'm going to convert because I believe in this. And I was just like, I need to just make sure that this is the right thing I want to do. So, I mean, that's what I've been doing for the last few months because of the fact that I want to know to make sure that I'm not going and saying, oh, I'm going to convert. And it's just one of those phases that I'm going to go through. Well, and that's probably what my dad is thinking right now. And I'm just kind of never felt so sure about something and it's just this great feeling like deep down that oh my god I'm doing the right thing for once and like I'm being true to myself it's really breathtaking to find what you've been looking for I guess and I've kind of found that in Islam I've never found anything that I disagreed with and a kid that would stand up when a kid said hey women in Islam all have to wear burqas and I was just like my mom doesn't wear a burqa to the grocery store and she's Muslim so I don't think you know what you're talking about after doing that for like my whole life I realized it was like well I'm standing up for something I believe in not for just my mom but for something that I believe in personally and um so it's kind of nice to be able to actually convert so I'm really excited and yeah nine more days guys i'll definitely hopefully send you pictures and stuff and maybe a video i don't know we'll figure it out masalama